Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the final part of Astro Games Day 134. Well, we are playing through the Starcraft campaign. Hey, Zul. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for the host as well, sir. How are you doing? It's Lavender. Oh, I missed something. I missed something. Hold on, hold on. Uh, we're on a break, indeed. Uh, look at that happy grass and those happy little clouds. It's Lavender, yes, yes. Indeed, it is it is Lavender. Um, and, and yellow grass, uh, I don't know if, that, if that's happy. Uh, I know yellow grass is a thing. Uh, it does exist, but um, yeah. No idea if that's happy or not. Never asked. Hey, Zul, how are you doing? Alright, so let us continue with uh, with some missions. I might be doing the um, Argria mission now because we keep on doing this, uh, the right side mission, but this is also a mission that we haven't done yet, so I'm not sure how it works again. I, I, I totally forgot um, how it works. Whether this is side missions and this is main missions or how that works, but um, yeah. Any ship receiving this transmission? The Zerg are invading Agria. The Dominion abandoned us here. We're just a small farming colony. We've got to evacuate before we're overrun. If you can hear this message, please help us. You really like the solo campaign in both StarCraft games, yeah? They're they're really cool. They're really cool, and I'm playing through them. So I can go Legacy of the Void and I've got the entire trilogy uh, on my YouTubes. So yeah, that's why I'm playing through them right now. Let's go to Agria. Incoming transmission. Thank you so much for responding to our distress call, Commander. I'm Dr. Ariel Hansen and I represent the people of the Agria colony. Pleasure to meet you, Doc. You can call me Jim. What's the situation? The Zerg have overwhelmed our planetary defenses. The colony is lost. For the past 12 hours, we've been evacuating people to the nearest starport, but the Zerg attacks have become so intense, we can't get any more through. If you can guard the highway, we can start sending the remaining groups every few minutes. Don't worry, Doc. We'll get your folks through to that starport safe and sound. I pray you're right, Commander. The Zerg are more terrible than I ever imagined. Hello, we are back. All right, let's do this. Fueled up. Reach the settlement. I got us some firebats, cowboy. These suckers have got flamethrowers that'll roast the Zerg for good. Let's do this. Ah, oh, poor civilian. Barbecue time. Our allies are being attacked. Alright, let's roast some Zerg! We got Zerg tonight, boys! Like Zerg on the menu! Smells like victory! Thank goodness you're here! I'll give you control of the main building so you can help us evacuate the colony! Perfect! Minerals. Get me building some uh, some ACVs there. Escort colonists to the colony ship. Wow, these colonists are heavily armed though. <laughs> escort the convoys all the way to the main starport for them to have a chance of escaping this planet. This better be good. Okay. The first convoy from Lark's Crossing will be moving out soon. Oh god. SCB ready. Armed and ready. Guard that. Okay. 
Guard the bear. Transport. Additional supply depots required. Bad news? Ah, you scared me! Um... Gangway, coming through. Hopefully those marines are enough. We don't have time for anything else, really. Don't stop for anything. Let's roll. By the numbers, boys. Hmm. <laughs> they're hugging the transporter, okay? Uh, I can't build here. No, they're not. You're not going with them. What? Go. Go, go, go. Hug the transport. Yo, Wolf Cup, what up? How you doing, man? SCV ready. I hope all is well. Big job. I hope all is well in Wolf Cup land. Someone had the right idea of building bunkers to defend the roads. Yes, and we got the bunker upgrade. The Dominion military abandoned them when the Zerg attacked. They didn't give a damn about the colony. Sorry to hear that, Doc. At least these bunkers are in a good spot. I'll see if we can't get them manned. SCB ready. Well, you know. Go, go, go. We've got the upgrade that uh, that makes them automatic turrets. Can't Our build on the road. Being that my attention. Let's do this. SCV ready. Okay. You gonna give me Let's orders? Pick up. Base is under attack. Automated turrets on the bunkers! Not bad, not bad. Nice, nice. Add on. Chrysalis gives you research points. Get the chrysalis DNA, okay. And of course, we need to go out there and search it. I don't know what that sound is. Armed and ready. But uh, that transport is safe. Affirmative. I assume. By the, number. the doctor is in. Of course. I'm on it. Keep your shirt on, Sparky. So what we're going to do is I'm so going to use this group to search. Board, How can we be expected to guard the whole thing? I reckon we can use a mobile force to keep it clear, or build more bunkers to block the approaches. Either way should work. Aye, aye, sir. The doctor is in. Escort strategy. After you have escorts, going to the audio tours back to the base and train up additional reinforcements. Yes, that's what we're doing. Insufficient Vespine gas. No, we're not ordering them back to base. We're ordering them to explore so we can find the other chrysalis stuffs. Uh, I've not been playing Battlefront, man. I've been, uh, I've heard uh, a lot of bad stuff about that game. The Something I expected, really. Um, not that the game itself is bad, but uh, oh, yeah. not that. But I heard that. Um, the next convoy is almost ready to go, Commander. Please alert your men. You not that the game itself is bad, but I heard that there was so little content. Everyone was really like, "Oh man, why did we buy this game?" Insufficient and all that additional supply depots required. So I was like, "Yep, 
Glad I didn't buy that one. <laughs> yeah. Been waiting on you. That's fine. How do we get over there? Oh, through here? Okay. We'll do. I assume that's where the third Chrysalis research is. I was happily playing store until yesterday. What happened? <laughs> Get to the starport, move it. What happened? Of course. Did they shut down Swatter? Okay, we got the we got the research. Yes, sir. Perfect, excellent. Got it. A patch broke it. Oh no! Keep your shirt on, Sparky. Damn ye patches, eh? In the rear. We hear you. Gangway. Coming. Yeah, that bunker is uh, is dead. Pretty much. Boys in danger. Get him, boys. Bye bye, Bunker. Our allies are being attacked. Can we build a new bunker? Gotcha. We can. Go build a new bunker. Insufficient Vespine gas. Base is under attack. Oh, another bunker dies? Okay, that's all fine. This better be good. The colonists are hurt. We gotta save them. No! The doctor is in. Holy damn. They broke the transport. Damn Canadians took over half the country. But Canadians are peace loving people, right? That's, that's their reputation, right? Okay, so that bunker is manned. Build another bunker here. It's about to get heavy. Get this point for this the science. Better be good. Why not? Got it. I told them to do that worse than they did. Well, they might be kind and peace-loving people, but don't don't provoke them. That ain't good. Alright. Got some mercenaries here. The doctor is in. Been waiting on you. Okay, got some fortified stuff there. Well butter my biscuit. They won't get through that. Insufficient Vespine. Oh, oh. Commander, another convoy will be heading out soon. Bad news. Ah. Go ahead. Okay, okay, you guard that. Did they at least say sorry after that? You would think so. With them being Canadians and all. My game Holland Belgium decided to get a war in Germany then immediately surrendered. <laughs> oh man. That's not how it went. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
Here, here, try Additional to get past that. Required. Try not to get past this, you filthy zug. Don't leave without us. Alright. The there we go. Boys. Hug the transport. Hug the transport. Keep it safe. <laughs> Keep it safe. Come on, guys, you can do it. Why in the heck would you emit creep across that road? In the rear with the gear. I'm just gonna build bunkers all over the place. <laughs> They're Canadian imposters, indeed. That gotta be it. That's gotta be it. Canadian imposters. Perfect. And there's some coming over there as well, so. Build a bunker there. Yeah, that overlord ain't gonna do much. And then repair that bunker. Ah, they fire way too slowly. Okay, yeah. Hmm. The bunker fires way too slowly, though. It's good that they have turrets on them and stuff, but. Hmm. Yes, sir. Right. I think that space is yep. well for the fight. I can't build here. This space that needs some fortification. Boom! <laughs> I don't think that works, but there we go. Building all the bonkers. Alright, back to base, guys. Back to base. Sir, we just detected Zerg organisms entering the upper atmosphere. I can't give you an exact fix, but they're heading your way. Uh oh, back to base. Even quicker now. Big job, huh? Additional supply Not enough minerals. Uh oh. Please don't head away. Please don't head our way. Right, we have another up. convoy ready to be escorted, Commander. Yeah, that's all fine and dandy, but what about no Zerg heading our sure. way? In that bunker. Everyone else is court. What's going on? You want a piece of me, boy? Not enough minerals. Yes, I want a piece of you. 
Wait, hold Additional on. Additional supply depots required. Also build an engineering bay. Get Everyone's us upgraded. Here. Let's go. All right, everyone's there. All right, hug the transport. Hug the transport. <laughs> e e e. Additional supply depot. Hug the transport. Come on. Been waiting on you. I know you can do it. Hark to transport. Splat. Oh wow, we actually managed to build it all. Look at that. And then he can't get out. Yo, we hear you. He built it himself into a... Uh... Okay, that's fine. Plant. Oh, they're coming through drop pods. Drop pods, eh? Well, that ain't gonna work on us. That ain't gonna work on us. Additional supply depots required. Land. Canadian imposters, yeah. There they are. Bam! You can pass through our impenetrable wall of bunkers! I got tracked. This game reminds me so much of the CNC game series. Yeah, yeah! It definitely takes inspiration from that. Not sure if uh, Command and Conquer was before StarCraft or WarCraft, but um, they do definitely take inspiration from one another. Oh wow, my blue screen. Let's uh, let's put my blue screen off because this this just doesn't work. You missed Tiberian Sun. Oh man, such a good game, such a good game. No, cancel, cancel, return, return. <laughs> All right, another load of refugees dropped off. Let's go. 1994, first CSC game I think Warcraft was around the same time. Not sure, um, but I think so. Bad news. I think Warcraft was around the same time. Sir, I'm picking up seismic no, disturbances closing in on your position. Chago, the sweet. What up? It's How you doing? Like to keep nice and seismic tunneling zerg. Oh god. Oh god. The tunnels. The night is worms. Red Alert 2 and Yuri's Revenge, yeah. Red Alert 3 was good as well. But uh, 1 and 2 were better. <laughs> Chago. Chago the sweet. Hello, the Swedish meatball. What up? I can't do it. Sorry. Additional supply. Sorry for butchering that one. But uh, yeah, hope you're hope you're well. We're almost done, Commander. Another convoy will be starting out soon. Indeed. Meatball man. This better be good. Get the upgrades rolling. Get the upgrades rolling. I have to pick them. You can get them for free. Oh man, I, yeah, I uh, I could get them for free, but then I noticed uh, Bookfish already gifted me um, the C and C series <laughs> in its entirety at some point in time, so. No need for the free stuff right there, but uh, 
definitely worth a pick up if you don't have them yet. All Command and Conquerors were pretty decent, I'd have to say. I don't think there was a Command and Conquer in there that was actually pretty bad. Yeah, maybe the newest one, uh, Command and Conquer 4 or something. But I haven't played that one, so I don't know. But um, with the screen aliens. Is but the road safe up ahead? Other than that. Guess we'll find out. Other than that, I think they were all pretty decent. And Tiberian Sun. Just amazing. They've been free for a while, I'm not sure not longer than only. I have no idea. With EA, you never know, man. Free stuff with EA. People say the ones when it, where EA took over were bad. Yeah, that was with the with the screen aliens, I think. But I've never played those, so I don't know. I stopped playing when EA took over. <laughs> Red Little One and Tiberian Sun were uh, the best of those series. Uh, upgrade. I don't know about the best. But then again, I am not a, a big Red Alert. Uh, I know everything about Red Alert sort of thing, so... I know no idea. Boom! Get Shrek Night as well. Get Shrek Night as well! Ooh. We might lose a bunker there. But, um, hopefully that SUV will be there in time. Come on, don't burn down, don't burn down, the burning down. EA gets all the love, as they should. <laughs> With the cap I included. Alright, bunker is safe. Base is under attack. Welcome to my wall of bunkers. Get Shrek. Hydro discs. Oh shit. Upgrade complete. Oh crap. Oh crap. Yeah, that went off first bunker. Who wants some? Ah! Sure no one can go and kill that Nidus worm because the bunkers are in the way. Crap. Maybe you can step out? Kill the Nidus Worm, kill the Nidus Worm. This be good. Get back in the bunker. Alright, the SFE is down, but there we go. Force choke defense, acquire currency, yeah. Yeah, I heard Battlefront wasn't all that. Wasn't all that. In the sense that the game itself wasn't bad, but that they didn't have a lot of uh, play, play content. Like, it's like... I looked at, I watched dropped frames for a bit and they said like the game is like That's 25 hours long and then you're done with it. So... Oop! Cutscene! Hi for the colony, But my people got out alive thanks to you, Commander. Ah, so many Zerg. Alright, so uh, to finish up my point before we start watching this cutscene, um, I heard, I, I watched Dropped Frames yesterday and they said, uh, that's a show with Edme JP, Go Carnage, uh, Ezekiel the Third, and Halloween. And they said um, that the game offered 25 hours of solid content. So that's not a lot. <laughs> After that you're done, they said, so... Both for DLC, yeah, yeah. And of course when the movie gets out, which uh, they then are gonna, you know, get some DLC to get the maps from the movie and all that. But uh, yeah, everyone said, uh, or they said in the show that it was practically done. Also guys, also guys, did you hear that Disney, I read that two mo uh, this morning, um, I heard that Disney um, is going to... Uh, pump out a new Star Wars movie every year. So they're going the AI EA route uh, with that. A new Star Wars movie every freaking year. That's insane. That's that's just crap. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, I heard that or I read that tomorrow this morning, and um, it was the guy from Disney itself saying so. Uh, one of the top guys there. So uh, yep. 
they're they're going the EA route with that as well. And uh, of course, every movie comes with DLC map packs for Star Wars Battlefront, and you'll have to pay twice to play uh, the game and see the movie and all that sort of stuff. So that's going to be a uh, capitalist who capital for so many uh, for so many people. But um, yeah, that's what's gonna happen. For now, though, let us continue with the missions. So I'll see you guys after the cutscene. Great job, sir. Dr. Hansen's offered to stay on with us for now, and I think her skills will be invaluable. It's hard to believe I'm even here. Great to have you, Doc. How are you planning on pitching in? Well, your medical facilities are medieval, and your science expertise is non-existent. Perhaps I could start there. Ouch. Well, I guess you might be able to teach Stedman a thing or two. Welcome aboard, Doc. I love that uh, it's 30 minutes later and we're in the cantina drinking it. Yeah, I think uh, Disney and EA uh, sat around the table, cracked their hands and, uh, you know, talk business. Um, that's probably what they did. Ooh, new mercenaries. Let's check them out. Lots of folks ready to fight for the right price. The devil dogs. Oh, that's uh, fire bats. Yeah. Eh. Not interested. Not really. Okay. Once again, let's check out the armory. Ooh. Look at this. The firebat suit contains a volatile mist mix of gases that seep into the operator's compartment. This may explain why firebat personnel are almost universally re-socialized criminals or psychotic pyromaniacs. Perdition flamethrowers spew combustible combustoplasma at enemy targets. The plasma easily seeps into the gaps in Zerg carpuses. Smaller Zerg creatures are literally cooked alive inside their own skins. Fire washes the skin of the bone and the sin of the soul. It cleans away the dirt. And my mama didn't raise herself, no dirty boy. Franco Tilden, widely credited as the first fighting firebat. Reformed mass murder. <laughs> Guy was saying on stream yesterday how he had already spent one hundred and twenty dollars for twenty-five hours of gameplay. Holy sh! Saddest thing is, since it's Star Wars, enough people will buy them anyway. Yeah, yeah, that is, that might be true, but I'm not sure how long they're going to stay on. You know, if they keep on pumping DLC, I don't know how long um, the DLC will be will be. Sustained by those Just same keep those people. Out of my That's a disaster. Just waiting to happen. All right, let, let's check out what we can upgrade. Oh, yeah, can upgrade fire bats, but I'm not really missile turrets though. An additional volley. Hellstorm batteries. Jesus. Hellstorm batteries are an additional weapon set that can be fitted to your missile turrets. Each battery fires several small missiles that accompany the standard missile attack and saturate the target area on impact. Now storm batteries are a great way to welcome swarms of enemy flyers to your base. Don't disappoint. We gonna get that. Hell yeah. Um We already have stim pack, stabilizer, map packs. Ooh, they're expensive, but um, I definitely want those, and I also want concussive shells. Um, but we can get those later. All right, that was the armory. Because what they're milking is in the name. Yep, yeah, that's true. They do have the name on their side. 
Uh, you have something to say, Hansen? You do. I've heard a lot about you, Commander. The Dominion always portrayed you as a criminal, terrorist. There's more to you than it seems. Well, with the Dominion being what it is, someone's got to stand <laughs> up for the little guy. It sure ain't gonna be Mengsk. Doesn't seem like the Emperor cares at all. My people from Agria and displaced populations from across the sector have all fled to a refugee staging area on Meinhof. There are reports of violence and disease spreading throughout the camps, but the Emperor's done nothing. I'll look into it, Doc. <coughs> Yo, fit me, what up, man? The lurk is real. Welcome, welcome to the channel. How you doing, sir? Long time no see. Um, yeah, mission archives. Not really interested yet. It sure felt good rescuing those folks. But there's millions more out there that need help, too. We can't be everywhere at once, sir. The important thing is that we set an example and gave them hope. Every time we help folks in need, it's another step on the road to a better future. I know, Matt. But it's been four years and we're still no closer to bringing Menks down. Now with the Zerg back in the mix, your better future needs to hurry up and get here, or there's going to be no one left to see it. Chillin' brother? Me too, man. I am, uh, yeah, I'm still waiting for, uh, to get involved with projects, but I need to wait for people to make decisions on that, so I just decided to go stream the day away and, uh, hopefully hear back from them soon. <laughs> so, I'm chillin', but I'm also in the back of my mind thinking, come on, come on, come on, get me into those projects. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Everything's fine, otherwise. Um, very, very, very relaxed. And uh, yeah, just streaming the day away. Starting with the StarCraft trilogy, now that I do have the entire trilogy uh, available. Um, she looks so much like Dr. Valen from XCOM. Yeah, definitely. StarCraft was before that, though. Um, but um, yeah, now that I've, that I've got the entire trilogy available, I can just play through the entire campaign. So that's what we're doing. Starting with Wings of Liberty, we started today, as you can see up there, it's episode one indeed, and um, that's what we're doing. All right, Cantina. Uh, Tyke has got something to say, and New has got something to say, of course. You meet Doctor Hansen yet? Sure, dear. I asked that sweet thing if she'd like to give me a physical. No harm in asking, right? I think she's got her eye on some pansy ass, though. Yeah? Who might that be? Oh, I don't know. Some white knight kind of guy came charging down to save a colony, maybe. Damn, Jimmy. You never could read the ladies. Well, she's in bad luck because we've got her eyes on someone else who, you know, is leading an entire swarm of bugs and is transformed into a uh, a bug herself but that's that's all uh, that doesn't matter we uh, <clears throat> we still want to talk to her Ooh, Tosh is over now got yourself some godliness now Ooh, and a pretty doctor this be careful with them I see let's see what Don't tail they're gonna spin up now man. We've got Kate Lockwell on remote feed from Agria, a fringe colony. Are you there, Kate? Okay, we seem to be having a sound problem with... I'm being told Emperor Mansk is going to address us directly. Let's take you to his announcement already in progress. My finest military minds are being brought to bear, and it's my pleasure to announce that they'll soon be led by the hero of Taurus himself. General Horace Warfield. Warfield? I thought he retired years ago. With General Warfield at the helm, and our finely honed Dominion military under his command, I have every confidence that this new Zerg threat will be contained very soon. There you have it, viewers. With Warfield in command, the Zerg Swarm will be defeated in no time. Up next, Raynor ups his campaign of terror just as the Zerg reappear. Coincidence? You decide after these messages. Yeah. I don't like that guy, man. <laughs> uh, he knows how to twist his words, though. Great politician there. 
Alright. He's saving colonists! It's an act of terror! Oh no! You got something to say, boyo? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. No? Okay. You got some new research. Ooh! Not in time. Ooh, planetary fortress. Flame turret. Ah, oh, those cannons sound good. Armor upgrades in the engineering bay increase life. Wow, okay, cool. Increase attack speed. Well, I'm all about that vanadium plating. Get that extra life in. Okay. Ooh, what's this? I haven't read up on this one. Protoss Crystal Sample recovered by Reynos Raiders 10 7 2504. I placed the crystal in saline solution for storage. Its density has increased by 553% in the last 12 hours. Where does it get energy or raw materials for that? I have a terrible suspicion that it's connecting to the ship somehow. If Swan suspects, he'll drop it out of the airlock, and that would be a tragedy. This sample could lead to huge breakthroughs for the raiders. I just have to be careful, and if there's any sign that it will harm the Hyperion, I'll destroy the crystal myself. Maybe not the wisest of ideas, sir. Uh, did this evolve in any way? Nope. Already read through that one. Alright, got the laboratory, got the cantina done. Got the armory done, the bridge is also done. Oh, there's that dude again. Yo, dude. Let's see what missions are available. Three missions. Wow. Okay. Um, Belshia. Dotted with ancient shrines and ruined temple gardens, Belshia was once held as a sacred spiritual retreat for the Protoss Templar. There's a rare gas on Belshia, the Protoss skull, the bread of creation. They think it'd be a gift from their gods. <laughs> we call it Tarazine. And it'd be worth a fortune to the right bidder. Of course those Protoss would kill us if they catch us on their holy ground. Oh, at least they'll try. And there's Meinhof, known for its rich abundant mineral deposits. Meinhof has been controlled by the Kalmorian Combine for many years. Recently, however, it has become a haven for refugees escaping the invading Zerg. Jim. Refugee populations from across the sector have been using Meinhof as a staging point. But with so many people in close proximity, an epidemic of some kind has started sweeping through the camps. Please, my people need help. We've got to do something before it's too late. And then there's Tarsonis. Once the shining capital of Terran space, Tarsonis now stands as a ravaged, sobering monument to the fallen confederacy. We've received reports of a new Dominion salvage operation on Tarsonis. They're running a large number of supply trains with minimal security. If we intercept the trains and liberate their contents before they can be shipped off-world, we could make a serious profit. Alright, I think we're going for Belshir because um, I want that Protoss research. I want that Viridium Plating or whatever it's called. Uh, I assume I can pause mid-mission because I'm pretty sure we're not going to make an entire mission... Uh, with the final 10 minutes of this cast left. But since we can pause mid-mission and save and all that good stuff. We can already launch it. And just see how far we'll be getting. So we'll be getting the Goliath for this. Can attack ground and air units. And get 3 Protoss research. And also I think the most credits. Yeah, that too. Wow. So best mission hype. <laughs> Here we go. Much prettier. Stone, yeah? I don't much like fighting Protoss if I can avoid it. Not just any old Protoss. Fanatics call the Tal Darim. They believe the Tarazin is sacred, a gift from the Zelnaga. If these Tal Darim bring in their air power, they're gonna hammer us. Swan, get the Goliath schematics loaded at the factory. If their anti air missiles are still any good, we might just pull this off. All right, cowboy. I'll get the Goliath schematics loaded so we can build more. How do we get to the Terrazine? See those altars. 
Taldari mystic set him up to collect the Tarasine. We just need to grab it. Well, our SCVs will be able to haul the Tarasine. We just gotta keep him protected. With any luck, we can pick up what we need before the Taldarim find us. All right, let's get to it. Welcome to the jungle. All right, that mission name though. <laughs> All right, let's get going. Got some Goliaths, some Marines. Seal seven altars. Here are the coordinates for the Terrazine sites, brother. These should make our lives a little easier. Our SCVs can pick up Terrazine canisters and move them. It'll take them a while to disconnect the canister, so make sure you watch out for them. Okay. Goliath. Assault Walker. Well rounded that excel at destroying air targets. They can detect ground and air targets. Soul pain and misery. Do you have fun and games in that jungle? <laughs> All pain and misery and Protoss. Yeah. 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 Protoss. Gather Terrazine. Protoss can't seal seven altars. Find Protoss relics. Okay. SCV ready. In the rear with the gear. So they're going to Jordan seal them. Ahead. At some point. And we need to prevent that. Add on complete. Protoss and Zerg, who knows what else? Yeah, exactly. Some Zel Naga, perhaps. SCV ready. You're the boss. Go get some gas going. This better be good. And also, we need a supply depot pretty soon. Bound to be a TV crew somewhere in the jungle, yeah. TV crew, of course, to uh, to take the wall. It's that it's that uh, guy that uh, you know, that Vermilion dude that um, is uh, speaking crap about our mission. It's got to be him, right? He's got to be there to uh, to take the failures. I guess we can just get out once. Oh wow, okay. It needs an entire time to uh transmission. The doctor is in. This land was sacred to the Talbin before Terrans ever reached the stars. We must depart immediately. Hold on now. We just need some of this gas here. You know how it is. You go to a dump in the jungle. No. You shall not <laughs> yep. the breath of creation. Tyleri Morris. Execute all those who desecrate our altars. The Protoss are mobilizing, sir. Looks like they're gonna go after our SCVs when we harvest the Terrazine. I suggest we only harvest one side at a time and run with a heavy escort. Yeah, that's what we need to do. I've got the first canister on hook, sir. I'll take it to the nearest command center. I'm going. We could use some help here. Oh god. Good job. That's the first canister field. SCV ready. 
The doctor is in. Warning. The Taldarim are sealing off the Terezin altar. Tal Dareem are sealing off the Terrazine altar so we can't get at it. If they keep it up, we won't be able to collect enough. Don't just fertilize a friend to increase the chance of survival, yeah. <laughs> and if they want the footage, they can stay for the watering. Whoa. Get that Frodo's research. Base is under I want attack. those shields. Oh, there's another Frodo's research nearby. That's cool. Oh, this yellow. All right. By the numbers, boys. <laughs> Ask for permission before sending a link. Yeah. Yeah, that that's still in place, you know, to uh, to guard up against bots and stuff. Um, sure you'll be the SCV that gathers. Holy shit, what are you doing? Just walk away. Oh crap. Oh shit, this ain't good. There's a whole Protoss base there. Damn it. That ain't good. Um. Oh crap. <gasps> Didn't pay attention to the how. No worries. <clears throat> ah, you scared me. Oh god, why? Why can't I have mules? Why can't one have mules when one wants mules? Alright, let's let's go gather this terrazine. Warning. The Taldarim are sealing off a terrazine altar. Yes, sir. Go ahead. By the numbers. Let's go stop them from sealing that off. Roger that. Orders received. We'll do Here we go. Not enough minerals. Not enough minerals. So do you have like, yep, yep. Not enough minerals. Oh, come on. I've got everything. Oh, whoops. But we're going to save. Oh, hold on. Okay, cool. We're going to save the game and we're going to end because. Astral campaign. Because it is the end of my stream! But yes, I have Legacy of the Void already. Um. It's, yeah, it's, uh, it's Wings of Liberty, Heart of the Swarm, uh, Whispers of Oblivion, and Legacy of the Void. Let's quickly switch to something else, because otherwise you can already read the campaign description. Alright. Um, but yeah, this has been Astro Games Day 134, StarCraft 2, Episode 1. We just started with all three campaigns. And uh, we have a long, long way to go before we are done with um, 
with the entire story. <laughs> it's three campaigns plus Whispers of Oblivion prologue missions. It's going to take quite a few episodes. Um, but once again, this has taken the place of the uh, Crusader Kings 2 solo uh, playthrough. Uh, in the rotation of Dark Souls, Crusader Kings, Total War Attila and Pillars of Eternity. So the rotation will now be Dark Souls, Starcraft 2, uh, Total War Attila and um, Pillars of Eternity. That is the rotation uh, that I'm currently going through on stream. And we continue this rotation next week with Attila, Total War. Um, but before all that... Oh, by the way, guys, let me know if you want to raid, because if I do have enough raiders, um, I will. But before all that, let us go through announcements first. Um, tomorrow, I will be back uh, three hours from now. I will be starting the stream, and I will be playing um, Crusader Kings 2 with Bookfish35. Um, we're currently playing through a Dynasty Challenge. Going from seven, the year 769 in Crusader Kings 2 till 1821 in Europa Universalis 4. That is a thousand, over a thousand years uh, in game of gameplay. Um, we're continuing with episode 3 of that challenge tomorrow at 8 p.m. Central European time. That is in three hours from now. Uh, yeah, three hours. Um, well, not, not now, but tomorrow and then three hours. Um, that's on Friday. Then on Saturday, we are, will be continuing Rats in the Basement, the Dungeons and Dragons campaign that I am uh, dungeon mastering and that Bookfish, uh, Amalware, Daydreamer and King of Nothing are playing in. Um, that will continue on Saturday over at Bookfish35's channel. Um, so go follow Bookfish35. Let me let me throw in a, a link in chat. Uh, go follow Bookfish35 if you want to see. There's the channel. If you want to see um, the Dungeons and Dragons tomorrow evening. Uh, no, in two days. Sorry, on Saturday evening. Um, starting around the same time as our CK playthrough, but a day later. Um, so I'll be appearing on Twitch two more times this week. And then after that, next week on this channel, um, we'll be continuing the cycle. Uh, as it stands now, that stream will be on Thursday. Might be on Monday. Uh, either one of those days, because the other days are work-related. So I can't stream then. Um, but either Monday or Thursday, I will be streaming Total War Attila. Or Attila Total War, as it is officially called. Um, and we'll be continuing the cycle. Episode 8 of that. And... Um, yeah, that's, that's about it for the near future. I uh, hope to see you all uh, later on. For either one of those uh, streams there and let's pick a raid target let's see who is online let's see who wisheth to be raided um, um ah well i've got a great uh i've got a great target here actually can't can't raid him often um, he's a team member of the Kaleidoscope Gaming, so if you do like my stream, you'll definitely like his as well. Uh, and um, so how raids work, it's very simple. You copy and paste the uh, sentence that I'm going to type in chat, which is... So that sentence, that's the one you, you copy over. Um, then you go to the channel that I'm going to give you in a bit and you're going to go in his chat and you're going to wait there uh, silently in the shadows and once I've ended the cast over at this side of things um, we'll go raid him um, and yeah he's like I said he's a team member he's English uh, he's he's not as gentlemanly as Phil <laughs> far from it really but he is British as well 
and uh, yeah, he's a great guy. And uh, yeah, let's let's show him some love, some kaleidoscope love. This channel is. Uh, there we go. That is his channel. I will see you guys over at his channel, and otherwise, I will see you either tomorrow or Saturday for D and D, or next week for Attila to the war. And uh, yeah, see you guys later. A non Finnish British indeed. Yes, yes. He's not as gentlemanly. He he does uh, he does cuss from time to time, but he's a really great guy, and I'm sure you guys have fun over there. I will see you there, and uh, otherwise, see you later, until next time, and game on.